hello guys welcome to the concepts of medical and today's video we are going to talk about the terms used in relation of uh, upper and lower limbs actually right so the first term here we have is the ventral or interior i have also uh, explained it in the explained it in the previous videos but here it is also used in upper and lower limbs so this is the term which is actually uh, described it is the the front aspect of the upper limbs and lower limbs it means that uh, if we have uh, any structures which is at the if we are standing in anatomical positions and any structure which is at in the front side of upper limbs or lower limb so we use these two terms for the describing of these structures right uh, let's suppose that um, uh, uh, here are a lot of muscles in our hand so these uh, muscles are actually at the interior side of our forearm so these terms are actually used for the interior and front aspect of the forearm uh, uh, for the upper limbs and lower limbs right so the dorsal uh, and posterior to the second term here we have is the dorsal or posterior as you are also familiar with this term so it is actually and uh, the back aspect of the uh, forearm uh, of the upper limbs or lower limbs right so uh, any structure which is uh, present at the back of upper limbs or lower limbs in anatomical position so we uh, used these two terms for describing up these structures right so the third term here we have is the medial border it lies along the little finger medial border of forearm or arm so um, any structure which is along the little finger so this is my little finger right this is my little finger so any structure which is along to uh, along the little border uh, let's suppose here we have the ulna bone and also the median nerve so all these structure is along the uh, little finger so we use for describing of these structures the medial border that uh, may, we use that uh, ulna bone is medially present to the radius right so these are the term used for the medial structures are along the little finger right so the third term then the fourth term here we have is the lateral border so it follow the thumb lateral border of the forearm and arm so it, it, it actually follow the thumb said any structure which is along to the thumb region so we use the lateral uh, term for describing of these structures let's suppose we have the radius bone at the lateral side uh, also at the thumb side so we use the lateral term for describing of these structures right so the fifth term here we have is the proximal it is actually uh, close to the root of the limb let's suppose here uh, i have uh, two bone here one is radius and another is ulna so but but their attachment root is humerus so the root the attachment root of any structure is actually this um, uh, the, the 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 part of any uh, structure uh, where it is attached to the root we use the proximal term like, like uh, we use that the 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 proximal end of the radius bone the proximal end of the radius bone make the elbow joint with the humerus and another term here we have is the distal it is actually away from the root from the limb so here I, this is the uh, the radius bone but this is the proximal end because it is uh, attached to the root because it is it is its attachment point uh, and also the humerus bone is attached to our whole body and the whole trunk so that's why we use the upper uh, um, part as a root for them so this is the distal end which make the uh, which make a joint with the carpal bones so distal is actually away from the root uh, away from the root side right so distal is actually used for describing uh, those structure which is actually away from the root right and another term here we have is the palmar palmar aspect is the front of the palm palm let's suppose this is my palm so palmar is actually the front of my palm so uh, if i describing there are a lot of muscles in my this palm so i use that this is my palm side when i'm standing in anatomical position so my palm are actually facing forward so that's why we, we call it that my hand is actually at the palmar side right and here another term where he, here we have is the 
dorsal dorsal aspect of the hand is on the back of the palm so it is the same uh, used for the hand both of these terms is actually used for the hand so this is the palmar side and this is the dorsal side of my hand right so this is the back of my hand and back aspect of my hand uh, if i uh, describing any structure any muscles any vein any nerve which is actually uh, present at the back of the uh, my hand so i use the dorsal term for describing up these structures right and another is the plexer plexer is actually the same as the anterior plexer aspect is actually the front of the upper limb plexer is actually so what is the difference between the plexer and anterior and extensor and dorsal so plexer is actually used for muscles because a lot of muscles uh, we have at, at, uh, here is at the uh, ventral side and a lot of muscles we have at the dorsal side so this side which is at the front we use the flexor flexor aspect is actually the front of the upper limb and extensor uh, actually extensor aspect is the back of the upper limb so any muscles which is uh, present at the back of our upper limbs so we use the extensor term for describing up these structures right so this was all about uh, the, the basic terms and describing for the upper limbs uh, using in the upper limbs if you want these hands out and these pictures you can go and visit my facebook page as well the link is in the description